Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. So, today we have uh, Colossians 2.10, and you are complete in Him, which is the head of all principality and power. And I'm just working on being the best me I can be and getting through life representing Him. So, yeah, just trying to get life sorted out not really knowing where I'm going or my big thing is I want to know how it ends and then I'll pick the best path to get there that's not the way it works <laughs> so yeah that's me <laughs> that's all I can say is that's me so all right um totally hooked what have I got okay I'm gonna scoop this around here the dogs have been pestering me all day. This is a couple of times now that I sat down to try and record, but every time I sit down, they think they have to be on my lap. They think they have to be into what I'm doing. And so I haven't even got to hit the record button until now. <laughs> I fed them. I gave them toys. I'm thinking of walking warm in his playpen. Um, yeah. So I'm totally hooked. I have the bag. Now, the ends are not woven in. There are some things that I would change about this. Number one, I would make it smaller in width and longer in size. Now, I also wouldn't make the handle 50 whatever rows it was because I'm going to put it on. Okay. And if I put it, I actually have to put it this way. Okay. So, I'm going to stand up. And maybe it's that I'm short, but my arm is where this is. And if you look, I don't have a whole lot of, it's more wide than it is deep. Um, in the picture, it doesn't look that big. The yarn itself, number one, is heavy, um, which I understand for a bag, but it makes it pull, like if you put anything in it, it pulls and stretches down more. So it's it's huge in here. Um, let me see if I can open it. I mean, it's got a lot of room. It would be great for like a beach bag or a market bag where you're going to be putting big bulky things inside. But the V to me is needs to be up here because it leaves too much open there there's not um, enough room from here to here to keep everything from spilling out so while it's great there's some things that I would definitely change about the pattern and I do like the yarn um, so as a matter of fact I like the yarn so much that when I got done I decided since I probably won't keep the bag I started me a washcloth so, yeah, I had this much left over, and uh, I'm going to make me a little washcloth. I'm doing it in Tunisian. So, just, it might be a big washcloth. I don't know, because I want more of the pink and purple in there. And so, yeah, I've got this much. I'll see what I can do and how big it is. But, anyway, that is the bag that came with the club. And I do have it done. Not perfectly heavy. I probably would do a smaller hook size and take it down a notch just because I'm short. Maybe it's the fact, maybe it fits a normal person, but at 5'2", you know, maybe if you were the three inches difference, maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, um, that would make a difference. But at 5'2", this just, it hits my knee. The opening of the bag hits my, like, almost my knee. Hmm. Like I said, the strap itself, maybe if I shortened it, I just don't know. I don't know. I may alter this if I'm going to keep it for myself, and I may leave it longer. I'm pretty sure I'm going to shorten the handle. I really am. Because it just isn't... It isn't user-friendly to me. 
So, it, again, it's probably my height, um, the fact that I don't have a lot of body, and that of my five foot, three foot of it is legs. It happens, you know? <laughs> so, I'm just one of those odd proportion people. And my mom used to laugh because if she could get jeans long enough for my legs, I swam in the tops. And she'd always have to put like darts and stuff in them. Um, it's kind of funny because I still have that problem. <laughs> if I buy them long enough, and these are long enough to go over my boots and stuff, but, and I'm going to show you here, it doesn't stay up where it should, and they're super, super big around. So, um, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. And like I said, I, I guess I'm just made in misproportions. So, uh, I'm the one that can't go anywhere outside the house without a belt on. And if I'm here and don't have a belt on, I'm pulling my britches up all the time. So, but they fit my length just fine. <laughs> so, yeah. My mother would be happy to know that not only did she struggle with it with me as a child, I still struggle with it. I don't know. I'm not the perfect um, size 2. I'm not the perfect little package. And even though I'm only 5'2", a yardstick. I'm serious. Over three foot of me at 5'2 is legs. So if I was a little taller, I'd be a dream, right? <laughs> That's a joke. Anyway, all right. So I've been working on that. The bag does not hit me where it needs to because of my height and because of my misproportion there. Um, but I have picked this one back up and I am wanting to get it done and this is the other kit that came and I gave one away and I gave the finished one away so now I'm making this second one I have all the ends to be hitch tone it down he's barking at worm they're just playing but he gets loud and it is an ear piercing loud and at least they're not up here around me every time I sat down in the chair they were so let them play there. So this one is on the in the works, and I've been working on it. Uh, again, this is that neuro that I don't like. It just pulls apart way too easy, way too much. There's not a whole lot of twist to it, and as you can see down here, that's going to be a I have to really watch my tension because if I'm tensioning it, um, it will it will literally pull apart right there. <laughs> I want to show you, but I don't. Does that make sense? It's like, ah, uh, if I do, then I've got more ends to weave in. It, it really does pull apart on a regular basis. So I, I try to be gentle with it and yeah, not one of my favorites. Not at all. So, but I have been working on that. I still have the hat and one more headband to do for work. I have not done those. I'm just going through my little thing here. I have a tote that I do. Um, and this is that yarn uh, that I used for the bag. It's painted cotton, but I saved it because that colorway is Tropical Lily. And so I kind of like that colorway. Um, so, all right. So those are the things that I've been working on. I have been trying. I haven't started anything new. Um, the bag, of course, I've been trying to get the kits done. And I want those done. And I want, I have like five projects going on and I'm trying to tone it down. I want to keep it to three. I want one mindless mitt, knit and two that I'm working on. So the washcloth is just, I call those bonus knits because I can whip them out and knit them flat. I did that little section in like 10 minutes yesterday. Yeah. So, in the pots, I don't have anything. On the wheel, I do still have that uh, domestic wool. And it's sitting right back here, but I didn't get it out. Um, I've got probably three-fourths of a bobbin right now. And so I just, whenever I want to crochet, I've been doing, or spin. That's what I've been spinning on. 
So most of my stuff is going to be in the farmhouse. RJ's World, he went rodeoing. Um, the big white truck is still down. He has a, another truck that he's using, but they're working on it. He's, he took it to our regular mechanic. Our regular mechanic says, I don't know, can't fix it. Uh, and he's taking it to another guy that our mechanic recommended. And it, the guy is so backed up that he hasn't even gotten it there. Like the guy's oh. like, you can't bring it to me until like next Monday. So, which is, this is Thursday, so it'll be this coming Monday to go to, I don't know how many mechanics. I, I don't know. It's a diesel, and I'm not real sure what's going on with it. And it all started when he changed the fuel filter. So, now the fuel doesn't hold pressure. Not sure. So, anyway. All right. The other, hey, worm, leave that spinning wheel alone. Worm. Ah, ah. Get over here. Um, yeah, he's going after my older wheel. He is teething. Um, he is ugh, getting very big. Yes. And this is his favorite place to be when mommy is sitting. He's watching itch. I'm trying to make him jealous. He is cute, though. All right. Are you two going to go on and let me finish this? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, kisses. Ah, no biting. He is teething on everything. So I've got to get him some chewies or something because, oh my goodness. Yep. He's teething on. I got him. Well, a girlfriend gave them to me for him. And they're little, like, hard rubber chewy things. And he annihilated one and made it in little chunks. And I was scared he was going to eat the chunks. And so, yeah, we took those away from him. So I guess I need to get him like those raw, high, chewy things that aren't so dangerous. Maybe some they'll clean his teeth. Maybe some they'll clean his teeth. Yeah, but he will. He'll sit right here like this for hours. All right, you need to go see Bubby. Oh, good Bubby. So. One of the things, um, that's RJ's world, just dealing with trucks, still rodeoing. Um, yeah. Ah, ah. Don't you get into that. Um, that kind of stuff. But in my world, um, in the farmhouse, as we call it, I took, and for those of you who follow us, Hitch was a rescue. And he's wanting to take it. Alright, so he's showing you his bandanas. <laughs> um, Moose had a bunch of these bandanas and way back, way, way back um, when RJ was about six years old, seven years old, we had a St. Bernard and he was the love of my life and we had huge bandanas for him, teething on everything. Um, and hey all right it's yours why don't you take it and go they've seen it so i took moose's bandanas and i adapted them for him but i did it in a way that i just can pull out a stitch and make them and there he goes he took it and he ran off um this one has not been adapted yet but uh, hitch wore it so hitch with his heart condition we've decided he's going to stay and these boys are going to go back to dressing up. So I've been working on um, and and doing some of these and making hitches permanent. And they just slide on the collar. I don't like the kind that like does, you know, that ties. That to me looks silly. So anyway, I've just been putting them on. I've been stitching them and I've been playing with those. Uh, Worm loves his. But I'm not, I just folded his over and did a straight stitch across there and they'll pucker some, but I don't want to change them because he's still growing. I, I don't want to shrink them down and then him outgrow them all. So, um, yeah, his are temporary so but for Hitch, I am, and I, again, I'm going to work on it some today too. So roommate has been on overtime and it's almost like living by myself, kind of. Um, roommate works 
four tens and then two eights. And so I have my whole days off. Um, roommate normally gets home about four and now roommate gets home about six. So I've got me time. Um, yeah, I get a lot done. <laughs> so I do sewing, I do my stuff and I have picked up one other little thing and it actually belongs to roommate, but are you bringing it back? Bring it here. He's just running around with that bandana in his mouth. That purple one. Came over here. Went running off. Anyway, um, so it belongs to roommate, but roommate does not know how to play. Roommate plays the guitar and ended up with this because it belonged to somebody else. I can't remember if it's a family or a friend. And so they hang on the wall with these little shelves things and this one is very dusty but i have been learning to play Ooh. it is very out of tune um but i do have a tuner on my phone it doesn't really hold it i thought that i'd be able I've been kind of playing around at putting some melodies together and the hard part for me is the part up here this part I don't know what you call it this part I can do I've got this you know this part I can do um, it's up here with this hand and understanding how the strings make it so change the tune so I'm just yeah and it just anyway I have been playing with that and I've got to figure a good way to I say dust it because in between here these little things where it hangs up is really bad but I don't want to use something on it I know parts of this are wood I, I really don't know how to clean it very well worm is now chasing his tail but I definitely want to and see there's stuff on the back it I've got to figure out how to clean that off I don't know if it is paint or which I think it is um, but it's it's really cool and like I said I've got to um, I have to tune it almost every time one is not right so one string is very off and I'll have to retune it but I've just been playing with it I don't know enough about it to really do but I just like it not that I can play anything on it I just can make tunes that sound kind of cool no I can't repeat them sometimes but hey and like I said I do um, I downloaded an app on my phone and there may be a better one out there who knows um, but the one that I've been using is banjo tuner and, and that's all it says is banjo tuner and it looks like that so and when you let's see here all you do is click what string that you're gonna do and let's see I'm doing the B3 and you put it near it and you yeah 
it's really flat. Yeah, it's not very good. Let's see if the other. So literally, I just sit and hold this, and I'm going to start at the bottom, and... Supposed to be at thirty-five-seven. Well, that one's actually pretty good, but it's the second one that. Yeah, it's really, really flat. Anyway, um, it doesn't stay tight all the time, so I have to tune it like before I use it each time. And I didn't tune it today. I just wanted to show you that. I was trying something new. Oh, that was Worm. Hey. And he is still running around with his bandana in his mouth. And he's, and then I think he wants it on. And he keeps bringing it back to me to put on. But, uh, yeah. I've just been having a lot of me time. And I need to figure out how to clean the banjo. Um, I have been kind of picking on it. Um, I don't know what you call it. It's playing it. I, it's not playing it. I'm just playing around on it. Um, so I kind of like it. Um, will I ever learn anything? Mm, probably not. I probably won't learn everything there is to know about it. Um, I'll probably just learn how to sit and pick at it in the evenings when I want to do it. So just a little hobby I've picked up. But I do have to figure out how to clean it. Um, it's been stored away, not in a case. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. But anyway, so that's been going on. Just a lot of this and that, not a whole lot of um, crochet. Uh, I did do that other shawl and block it, but that was last week. This week is my long week, so I have less time at home um and then next week will be my short week so hopefully I'll get a little bit more done uh I did go through the house and clean the house from top to bottom get the cobwebs out of the corners um <laughs> apparently if you paint an entire room and do it all pretty cobwebs never come <laughs> yes they do I have not dusted the corners of this room since I painted it so yeah I decided to make sure that I got all the cobwebs down and all that stuff. So, but other than that, not a whole lot going on. I do have to go and find an eye test. My contacts are starting to bother me and it is time for my eye exam. So I'm thinking that one has changed a little bit. It might be a little off. So, um, I don't think anything else going on. I think it's just everyday life. I am just trying to be the best me I can be and let God decide where I'm going because Lord knows I don't know have no idea have no idea what I'm doing where I'm going it, I can't even picture myself in 10 years right now you know everybody says well where do you want to be in 10 years and then work towards that and I've been I've told RJ that myself you know just look at your life say where do I want to be in 10 years and then go for it I don't know where I want to be in 10 years. I don't know what I want to be doing. I, I just don't know. So, I'm letting God decide that is what it is. And I'm just letting him take control. And me being me, I'm going to work and doing my thing. And I am puttering here and doing all the things that make me happy. I'm crocheting picking on a little banjo um, just things that I feel fine with spinning uh, I haven't dyed any but I am waiting I gotta finish spinning it before I can dye it so I want to dye up I want to do a whole pound and dye it up again so that is my goal on that but I haven't been spinning 
I had like half a bobbin. I've only done like another quarter of a bobbin. So it's going to take a little bit. And Hitch is looking for his brother. Hitch, he's in the den. There he is. What are you doing? Yeah, Bubby. They really are cute together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No. Do you want up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This little booger. If I'm a sitting, he thinks that this is where he's got to be. Not a bad problem to have, is it, baby? So, anyway, with that, Worm and I are going to tell you bye. Yes, we're going to say bye. We're going to say bye. And we will see you next time. Just know that I'm getting... I dropped that camera, didn't I? <laughs> Just know that, you know, wherever I go, looks like y'all are along for the journey. So, and I was told that I don't ask for likes or subscribes enough. So, yeah, I've got one person riding me to get the subscribes up. So, I'm going to ask if you watch this please subscribe. Um, we appreciate it. And if you want to follow me on my journey, that would be great too. Um, I will say this. There are a lot of journeys going on in this video um, or in this podcast, whatever you want to call it. Right now, I have lost about seven pounds. Yeah. Seven or eight pounds. Um, and so I'm working on that journey. Just picked up the banjo. Maybe I'll learn how to play it. Maybe I'll just go to picking and playing. And who knows? Who knows where that journey is going to go? And then, of course, I've got my crochet and my um, thing. And then there's just my life journey. So if you are interested in any of those things and want to see where life takes me, do the subscribe thing. And I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Bye.